Um, the, uh, the first page here has uh, a feature of a monster bursting aggressively out of the page at you. This is um, Solly. Uh, Solly is our mascot and it signifies uh, just that we are aggressively creating one of the world's great copper companies. And our first project is Alpala in northern Ecuador, but we're replicating that uh, all through the country by applying a, uh, a very good blueprint that we've, uh, uh, that we've developed as a result of the Cascabel um, success on the Alpala prospect. So we're very well funded. We now have about $110 million US cash um, following the closing at the end of November of a £45 million pound gross or £43 million pound net uh, bought deal run by National Bank in Canada. Uh, we have a tremendous technical team. Uh, we have a uh, very invested board and management that's very committed to this uh, project. Uh, a track record amongst all of us of discovery and uh, adding shareholder value. We, are, we always are shareholders. Uh, and that way we're always aligned with them. We're lucky enough to be working in an emerging mining nation, uh, Ecuador. It's putting a lot of effort into building a regulatory and fiscal uh, uh, environment that's very supportive to the mining industry. And the project and the management team has been strongly endorsed by the investment uh, into 15, or just under 15% of the company by uh, one of the world's great block cave miners in uh, Newcrest. The uh, rather aggressive pursuit by BHP uh, to get involved in the project as well as also testimony to the quality of both the project and the, uh, and the company. We've spent uh, over $50 million US on 50 kilometres of airborne magnetics and soil geochemistry. We've drilled over 50 kilometres of drill holes. Um, only 10% of those have not hit the ore body. That shows it's very big and the long intersections frequently over a, a kilometre at over a percent copper equivalent uh, show that it's also a very rich system. So this is something that is going to sit on the top of the uh, competitive tables for capital for development over the next couple of years and that will hold uh, the shareholders in, of Solgold in very good stead. We have been applying a blueprint of that exploration strategy all through the country and that has uh, resulted already in the discovery of one other project at uh, La Hueca in, uh, in the southern part of uh, Ecuador, and we expect more of them. So these other projects are held. There's now uh, over 70 of them in four different wholly owned subsidiaries. And in the Cascabel project, we hold 85% through the local company ENSA, or Exploraciones Nova Mining SA. And uh, we've... Uh, i uh, got a uh, junior partner, Cornerstone, their 15% holder, and they're debt funded through to uh, the completion of feasibility study. So I want to draw attention to Craig Jones, the Newcrest nominee there on the board. He's a, a block caving expert. He's very excited about this project, and that helps to underwrite Newcrest's ongoing interest in, uh, in this company. Uh, bottom left there, Jason Ward, who's here with us today, and... Uh, ben Whistler are, are two fantastic lieutenants that I've had beside me in the case of Jason now for uh, 20 years and they have built this project from nothing and received the accolades of many of the world's majors uh, in doing so. So we have a, uh, a market capitalisation of uh, uh, one, uh, 400 million pounds, just over 400 million pounds prior to the uh, capital raising being completed. Um, and we have uh, the most recent investment by Newcrest of $40 million uh, US. There's uh, investment of a further £45 million pounds gross through the bought deal at 25p by uh, National Bank. So uh, Newcrest, the largest individual shareholder, and uh, uh, myself and DGR uh, Global, uh, the largest aggregate uh, shareholders in, in the, the, uh, the company. Newcrest's uh, position there uh, is not blocking, it's not uh, threatening. Uh, they can't use that position to block a takeover bid by anyone else if one uh, comes along and they have to follow a proposal supported by 60% of the company uh, and uh, recommended by the board and an independent expert. So don't see Newcrest as a threat, they're there to help 
uh, and there to make money as a shareholder. Uh, they're not trying to control the project. We came here from the Solomon Islands where the geology was difficult, the operating environment uh, similarly difficult and challenging. Moved to the world's greatest copper theatre, the Andean Copper Belt. Um, produces 48% of the world's copper. The geology is predictable, the grades are high, uh, and the governments like you. We were attracted to Ecuador because it's basically been unexplored. And uh, there's a, a thick metal-bearing oceanic ridge, the Carnegie Ridge, which brings in a lot of copper and gold, floats high, distills slowly, uh, gets oxidised, and that enriches the grades and sequesters the iron uh, as magnetite, which is very recognisable in airborne magnetic surveys. So great part of the world geologically and underexplored, the opportunities on a plate there for us. In fact, if you superimpose the length of Ecuador over northern Chile, um, you cover 25% of the world's copper resources. We got a three and a half to four year first mover advantage in Ecuador, identifying other targets. We've identified 22 of them, uh, and we've now secured them with uh, over 70 granted licenses, and that's going to form the basis in the future for the emergence of uh, Sol Gold as one of the world's most important copper companies. We believe that we'll find more of these big blue blobs that feature the uh, or represent the, uh, the big Chilean super giants. Uh, we're in the Eocene belt, uh, which continues through Peru into uh, Chile and hosts mines such as Chuqui, Camada, Escondida and Colajalsi. So uh, it's a very, very metal-rich belt and one that has been essentially untouched in, uh, in Ecuador. So um, this is all afforded by a very progressive government here. They're socialist politically. They're economically rationalist. Um, they've put a lot of money into, equi uh, into infrastructure and also the... Um, development of a uh, very uh, useful fiscal regime and regulatory regime to uh, get mines up and going. The country is endorsed by Newcrest, BHP, Fortescue, uh, Barrick started to uh, explore there. These are companies that are focused on building mines and a mining industry. Um, and so we feel that our, our efforts there uh, are well uh, well directed, um, and in fact we've been uh, recognised uh, with a couple of awards at the Mines and Money Awards, including Best Exploration Company uh, last month in in Toronto. Uh, we have as much as possible all Ecuadorian staff. The infrastructure in the area gives us around about three billion dollars in capital advantages over any mine similar sort of mine that would be built in the high and dry Chilean Andes, and um, that includes uh, access to power, ports, roads, uh, water in the rivers. You don't need desal plants or water pipelines, power stations, long power lines. It's all a tremendous set of advantages from an economic point of view. The uh, uh, discovery um, is, is a, an oxidised one. The, the capex um, will be lower because of the high-grade core and the vertic vertically elongate nature of the ore body and the operati operating costs are, are benefited by uh, autogenous milling that we should get in the vertically extensive cave. We use magnetics to start to identify the mineralised systems. Um, the magnetite goes with the chalcopyrite and we use geochemistry to refine those targets. We focused, it focused on uh, the Alpala cluster in the south and drilled targets that we identified with this long uh, rig here. It came up with world-class targets um, and uh, we're looking for the Bornite core. Uh, we use magnetics as an MRI scan. It's a proxy for copper mineralisation. We've got a number of other targets to focus on and uh, I'm going to have to go through this quickly, I'm sorry, but um, Newcrest like it because it's very similar to the Alpala sorry, to the uh, gold pool ore body in Papua New Guinea, uh, and they like it because of the high-grade core and the bulk grades that are higher uh, than theirs. We will access this through uh, a long uh, uh, twin six-kilometre long decline. Um, the rich part of the ore body is closest to the bottom of the decline. The economics are great from a uh, block caving point of view, and we believe it can produce somewhere around a uh, billion dollars after tax. So. 
Cornerstone, as I mentioned, have a 15% debt carried uh, interest uh, which require them to contribute or dilute. And um, very quickly in the last 30 seconds, I'm going to grab off you. This is the map of our other concessions through Ecuador. We're finding a lot of magnetite that tells you that they're porphyry systems. You can see them outcropping in the side of the creeks. They've got copper mineralization in them. A lot of the copper is bornite, which is the rich copper mineral. Uh, and importantly, lots of molybdenite signifies very large systems that can make these things as big as the Chilean supergiant. So um, they're multi-directional stock works. Um, the future's good from an exploration point of view. We endorse uh, the activities, or the, the local communities endorse our activities. We look after them um, with uh, fish farms, nurseries that we build for them. And uh, it's a tremendous opportunity that I commend to you. We've, we're, we're endorsed uh, by great people, cash. Um, we're, uh, so we're resourced by them, endorsed by the government and uh, industry peers uh, in getting some great results. And they're starting to replicate in uh, southern Ecuador. Thank you. OK, thank you. Round of applause for Nick, please.